folks, this is uh, Steve and Nadia Cooking TV, and we're going to make the Mississippi Roast. What you need is, first of all, is a crock pot. Good sized crock pot's always best. You're going to need a chuck roast, any kind of roast will do. Bone, bone in, bone out, it don't matter. Don't care. But uh, just make sure you can fit it in your crock pot. Next, you'll need uh, one stick of butter. One package of dry ranch, uh, Hidden Valley Ranch mix, one pack of dry ju uh, juice mix, and some green, green pepper or Greek peppers. Now, what you do is you put your your roast in the crock pot here, right? Then we're going to take the Hidden Valley Ranch here. If I can get it open, there we go. And we're just going to sprinkle this all over the roast. Just like that. It doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be anything special. Just do that like that. And then you're going to take your dry out juice mix. And you're going to do the same thing. Just going to sprinkle it on here, just like this. Just like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be anything special, but you get the idea. Okay, and just make sure you get the whole package on there. Alright, there we go. Now, stick of butter. Very important. And do keep in mind, folks, do not, I repeat, do not add water to your crock pot. There is no reason to add water of any kind to your crock pot. So we're just going to take that stick of butter, we're going to stick it on there just like that. And then we're going to take some Greek peppers. It does not matter how many you use, but you just lay them on there. And people have asked me if the Greek peppers add heat to this recipe. No, they do not. Greek peppers have all, all they do to this recipe is add flavor. They do not, there is no heat to this at all. But you can add as many of these Greek peppers as you possibly want. That's entirely up to you. It does not matter. But you just lay them on there just like this. And let me see, well, maybe one more. Be, oh, I'll do it. And there you go. And then you put the lid on it, and then you turn it on low for eight hours, and it's the best roast you'll ever have. That's all you got to do, plain and simple. The Mississippi Roast, folks, can be found in the in the cooking group. Now you're cooking. This is Facebook.com forward slash groups, or Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash now we are cooking is where you can find it. There you go, folks. Mississippi Rose. Enjoy. What's up? Steve here. Now you're cooking. Now you're cooking TV. Mississippi Roast in the crock pot right here. And it, this is the finished product. Look at that shit right there. And these peppers, man, let me tell you. I'm going to give one to my camera. Well, that one fell off. But I'm going to give one to my cam cameraman here. Taste that shit, dude. Hell yeah. But this is the finished product, folks. Mississippi roast, slow uh, cooked in slow uh, in the crock pot for eight hours, and it is ready to munch, man. And remember when I said in the first video, don't add water, don't add water to your crock pot. As you can see down here, that's why the ju the fat from the roast, along with the stick of butter and the uh, the dry out juice mix and the dry ranch mix, makes this excellent gravy. With, uh, along with the uh, the moisture from the peppers, makes a great gravy, which is good on mashed potatoes, just about anything you want. It's really good. It's really delicious. You ought to try it. Now you're cooking TV. Peace.